I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Sunday, August 27th, the 13th Sunday after Pentecost, our scripture is the 16th chapter from the Gospel of Matthew, verses 13 through 20. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Jesus said to them, But who do you say I am? Verse 15. An online search of top influencers in history yields a list that includes Jesus. Whatever a person thinks of him, one cannot deny his effect on the course of human history. People today shall ponder who he really was, an influential teacher, a prophet, a healer, a charlatan, or something greater than we can define. Peter's confession, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God, verse 16, is the acknowledgement of God's new way of being present with us, the rock. Of this God's revealed confession is the solid foundation on which Jesus will build a new community, the church. Even knowing this, we do well to consider for ourselves the question Jesus asked his disciples. Answers will come through our relationship with the Son of the living God. Listening and learning will help us grow in understanding who Jesus is. When he asks, who do you say I am? We can reply, by the power of the Spirit, you are God with us, and then be open to all the ways this is so. Our prayer. God, we want to truly know your Son, our Savior. Reveal your truth to us as you did to Peter. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.